Hello, everybody, all over the world. Yes, hello. I am High GPS, and this is the show High GPS. And today, I am announcing the web page, which is HighGPS.no. So people go like, "Have you heard of this site? Have you heard of High GPS?" And they go, "No." And you can go, "That's his website." Yes, so we're launching that today, but too bad. It's SOPA, so it's like black and stuff. But uh, it will be back up tomorrow or something like that. And then you can look at it. It's going to be awesome. So yes, today we look at this thing. The hibernating bear set for the heavy And I have to admit, I fucking hate this set. And you can tell by I'm making up for it by having a lot of cool hats on me today. So that is that. So let's just jump right into this. Uh, this is the set. Uh, you need these three items. Hats doesn't fucking matter. So you have the Brass Beast. Unlock. You can craft or uh, uh, getting drop or trade or whatever. 25% uh, more damage. Ooh, that's nice. 50% slower spin up time. Not that good. 60% uh, slower move speed while deployed, uh, which means you're uh, practically begging to get hit. This. Works as the regular sandwich when you throw it. However, when you eat it, you uh, get mini crits, you run faster, and you can punch people. We're going to look at that. And these are uh, more damage, but less health. And all these together gives you a fucking laggy program. Yeah, okay. So what that does, it gives you 5% resistance to crits. Which means uh, you won't die as e easily to crits, but you have less health, so you'll die easier to everything. Okay. So basically this weapon uh, makes it pretty immobile. So you have to like get into the mindset that you're a sentry gun. So you have to be like, where would I put a sentry gun? Be like here would be a good spot for a sentry gun. And then you go sit there. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today and how to use it with, you know, the fist. Cause uh, meleeing with the hibernating bear set is a lot uh, bigger part than not using the hibernating bear set. Because you require it because the spin up time is fucking ridiculously long and you can't really move. So in tight areas, you might have to use some meleeing to get around. And the reason I'm stalling is because the game's loading. Shut up. So yeah. Let's see here if I can get everything working. Da, 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 da. Yes, almost. Okay, cool. Let's see here. Yeah, it's done. It's done, and let's hope it doesn't crash. God damn it, this is a worm. All right, we're in. When? So, this is the Brass Beast, this is what it looks like. And we're on Dust Bowl, and we are defending! So we're just gonna speed things up. And here is the sandwich! And you eat it like... Not like... You eat it like this. Nom nom nom. And then you run. And then you're forced to use your melee weapons. And during this time period, you you do mini crits, but you also take mini crits, crits. So be careful with that, you're not invincible. Unless you have Uber or something. So it's good for relocation and stuff, so let's just look out how this works. Yes. So, we have the blue team in defensing, and we're pretending because we're a sentry gun. We're on the high ground, we're shooting on the low ground. Oh shit, Uber. Okay, we've got a duck so they don't hit us. We're still gonna do some damage, getting a nice kill on the medic there. The medic is still Ubered. Look at how slow we're walking, and uh, the other heavy is doing playing around with Pyro. He's distracted, we get the kill on him. Keep in mind, if you're already spun up, and any other heavy you meet that is also spun up at the same time, you will always win because you do more damage regardless. So now we're gonna throw the sandwich like that, healing ourselves. And now we're gonna use the melee in tight quarters, getting a nice crit on the soldier there, because, you know, using this spin up time here would be ridiculously long and we'd die. So we get a pick on the medic and the sentry gun and an invisible spy that just happened to chill where we were shooting. And now we get Ubered and then we get kill a heavy and another medic and another sentry and we look around and we're like slow as shit, uh, can't really do anything. And now we have to relocate, get to high ground, because we're defending the point and that's what we're gonna do using this bear set. That's what we're gonna do. So here we are on the high ground. We have a heavy using the Tommy Slav down there, and he can actually move, and he's not like a rock. So we're defending here. Uh, good place for a sentry gun. This is why we're standing here. We have the enemy team having uh, uh, yeah, having an all right unit, uh, like uh, use class composition. Uh, not too bad. So we're still just you know standing up here, defending, shooting anyone that might you know come. Uh, looking to the side, don't want to get backstabbed. However, we're called vulnerable here. I have a soldier that decides to just chill. Oh my god, okay, medic has a full Uber, and I'm not getting it. So, uh, I guess the medic was like, Fuck you, I'm not giving that Uber. And I was like, Okay, Kai, I'll just throw my sandwich to myself, steal his health kit, and then watch you give crits to the soldier that doesn't get a single kill. Alright. Doing damage from, uh, from a distance here. 
doing a lot more damage than any other heavy at the moment while we're being spun up because 20% is a lot of damage. However, look at how slow we're moving. This is max speed of a heavy with the Brass Beast, yes. So instead of having uh, 300 HP, we actually just have uh, 280. But hey, we got 5% uh, resistance to crits, that means we can survive one more hit. It's not that much. Still defending. Uh, enemy team hasn't really been able to push that much. Not sure if it's just uh, us being good or they being awful. Maybe a mix of two. So we have a mini sentry gun there, and then I'm gonna let that defend there while I uh, relocate, grab more ammo. Because if I run out of ammo, I'm kind of fucked. Because then I have to melee people, and I don't want to do that. So we have people coming up there. Gonna investigate uh, down what's down there. Gonna see if we can get a kill with this pyro. Yes, yeah, hitting it once and dying to uh, the post hammer because uh, I was on fire and I, I died there. So that was a little introduction to the uh, Brass Beast on defense on Dust Bowl. So I'm going to show you a little trick you can do while you're on the blue team attacking on a payload map using the Brass Beast because that's probably the most useful place to use a Brass Beast is on the payload maps uh, because you can stand on top of the payload and then the payload moves forward and it moves faster than you walk so you're like kind of on a rail shooter. That's what you are. So we're here with the uh, team, uh, Spy decloaking. We got a nice kill on him after he get kills one of our soldiers, and then we're gonna jump on top of the cart right here. And as you can see, it goes a lot faster than we were walking, but uh, we can't really decide where we want to walk. I'm seeing a spy down here. I'm not sure where he went, but that doesn't fucking matter because we're attacking and we're pushing the cart. Just gotta be a little bit careful of our back. Seeing a heavy is already spun up, no match for me because I get heal and ammo and uh, speed from this car right here, utilizing this to uh, its uh, full potential. And this is awesome teamwork, right? Look at this. Uh, look at this. We have a spy coming in right now, and we have us on the cart. So the spy comes up and he saps all the stuff. We come in and clean up everything with another heavy, and then we fall off the cart like a noob. And we're like, oh shit! Oh shit! We gotta, we gotta jump. Oh, was that a sniper? Oh shit! Snipers. Okay. Even though we have like. 5% crit uh, resistance, uh, headshots are still uh, pretty fucking lethal. So here's the, the, the view of the sniper, right? This is what he sees. He's like, okay, gotta kill, kill that sniper. And, oh, it's a heavy there, okay. Gotta shoot him once. Oh, let's see. Okay, one shot, headshot. Uh, two shots. Uh, three shots. Uh, four sh Fuck! And then we get immediately uh, butchered by another sniper that's in the hall over there. So, I, I remember this guy was like, oh my god, I shot you in the head four times and you died. And I'm like, crit protection, bro. Because headshots are indeed crits. So, uh, that's what you can do. You can jump on top of the cart, getting healed and infinite ammo as you move forward and just plow through your enemies. It's quite effective. And, uh, whoa. What the hell was that? Da, 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 da. Yes, okay, cool. So, we are fucked. No, we're not. Everything's fine. Crap, gotta turn that on. Keep forgetting enabling mouse. All right, so we're back here, attacking, obviously. This is uh, the uh, warrior spirit. They do 30% uh, more damage, but you have uh, less health. And uh, join my Steam group, and check out the website, highgps.no. Because when people go, hey, have you heard about this side? They go, no, and you can just go, that's the address. So now we're going to do something different. What we're going to go do different this time is that we're going to stand in front of the cart. We're not going to get healed, but we're going to get pushed because it's kind of hard to jump on the cart unless you have like proper replacement and you're like super uber uh, imba with the jumping on top of the cart. So we're going to stand in front here and be kind of like a plow to plow through everything. Getting the heals, doing the damage. Look at this, just like mayhem, just shooting, 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 shooting. That's kind of what you do. Like, I'm a mobile sentry, look at me. Look at all the damage I'm taking. Shooting, shooting, shooting. There's a sniper over there. Shit, we're out of ammo! Damn it! Our plan failed. Alright, back to the cart where the dispenser's at. And now we're gonna relocate. Alright. Throwing the sandwich back there, so, uh, the medic can get it. The buffalo steak sandwich. Not the regular one. We have a medic with a quick fix, taking him down. There's a demo down there. And oh my god, there's a pyre with the little fucking broken crit uh, flamethrower thing. Yeah. So, you can also do that, uh, being in front using us a plow, uh, only works really well until we run out of ammo. Uh, so one thing we're going to be is we're going to be looking at how to use the stake uh, and your speed to uh, get into position. Fun fact, it takes four seconds to eat that 
stake. So you can time that with gates opening and stuff like that. Let me just check something real quick. So here we're eating the, the sandwich and now we're running. Do, do, do running and it was delicious and we putties 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 our way over here. Uh, putties is the sound of when heavy runs. So we're using that to get in position here on the cart. Gonna jump over, gonna go right in here as a demo here. Yeah, punch, 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 yes! All right, shit, all right, we're gonna corner and this is my corner, bitches. Nobody else takes my corner but me. So uh, you see there's wire here. Uh, you cannot shoot through this because the bullets can't go through these tiny holes. So we have a medic here, and the spy drops down, he's covered in PP, we can see where he is, getting a kill on him. Already spun up, super powerful, getting lucky crits there, killing a sniper, and uh, damaging another sniper, gonna fall back and grab health and respin the gun. Uh, seeing sniper dots on my wall, do not want to engage, because I do not know how powerful they've been there. Getting another pick on the medic, uh, falling back, gonna throw the sandwich, but accidentally picking up the health behind us. It's a soldier here, trying to hit us, uh, now we pick up the sandwich we just threw out, because it's kind of like... We make a lot of preparations to do that, and here comes a pyro, we kill him too, using the brass beast. Holy shit, this is a beast. And then it's like, oh wait, he's a heavy, and he's fucking slow. Why don't we just use corners and bombs to just kill the fucker? And I just go, they found my secret. Oh well. So that's the main problem with the Brass Beast, is that you have less health and you're insanely slow. But you're powerful when they're in, like, your, you know, in your aim, but, uh, yeah. So we're gonna look at uh, something else you can do on offense, which is help to take down sentry uh, rigs, because you do, like, 20% more damage, and that's a lot with the Brass Beast when you're a heavy. So let's say you're lucky and you get uh, jumped ahead, uh, then you can do a lot of damage with that. So we're gonna still use the same set, but with, uh, it gives a 280 health instead of 300, and uh, we have the ability to run faster if we wish, and we can throw and heal ourselves, uh, healing half our health, which is then 140 instead of 250. And we have a soldier up here, and this is fucking insanely hard to kill, because he runs faster than me. I cannot spin up with him killing me. So let's see if we can kill you. Okay, gonna get these, the health cat killed kit here. Health cat, that's the cats that have a health, whatever. And, uh, oh, it's sentry guns and shit. Okay, gotta fall back. Uh, medic has full heal, and... Okay, we're Ubered, let's go! Shit, I don't know what to shoot. Okay, shoot the medic, shoot the medic. Okay, he ran away. Oh, dispenser! Okay. Now the sentry gun. Yes! Took the dispenser and the sentry gun, there's a pyro here, and shit, can't hit anything because my aim sucks, and then we die. Fuck. That didn't... That didn't go quite as I planned. It was quite, you know, not so good. But uh, keep in mind, uh, this goes for anything. If you kill the dispenser first before the sentry gun, uh, the sentry gun is going to die a lot faster because the engineer will run out of metal and heal and stuff. And maybe, well, the easiest, kill engineer first and then kill the sentry gun. But if you can't do that, get the dispenser. If you can't do that, just fucking kill the sentry gun, is what I'm saying. Uh, so another thing when it comes to Ubering sentry guns is that the medic is also invulnerable. And the medic should keep that in mind. So the medic, he should run in front and uh, make it so you can get closer because the sentry gun shoots whatever target is closer. Uh, regardless of what it is. We're gonna go spin through the teleporter in case there's any people around the teleporter when we sp come out of it. So here we have... Uh... Okay, look at this. This is what I mean. We're Ubert and the medic is in the back. He's just like, you know, chilling in the back. What he should be doing is just run in the front so I could get slightly more forward. But I'm using the brass piece, so I move like a rock, so I can't do that. And then the pyro just comes with pressure blasts in the corner, uh, making us not able to do anything, and here comes the bombs, and uh, boom, we're dead. I'm a, I'm a disappoint there, medic. Keep in mind, when you're doing the uber, there's always two people that's ubered. It's you and the medic, and the medic is also invulnerable, and he can also do stuff. Like, be, hey, look at me, look at me, you should shoot at me, not the guy. Uh, just uh, saying there. But one thing the Brass Beast is really good at is uh, defending, because you don't have to go anywhere. Because where you're on offense, you kind of need to move a lot and relocate to get to different positions and stuff. With the Brass Beast, that's kind of hard, because you, you're so fucking slow. So we're going to be defending now on Payload Barn Splits, uh, a map that was added before. Forget which update, but that's not important. So we're gonna be standing here, and the pyro runs out with a bed. Holy shit, he's ubered. All right, let's hope he doesn't come out here. Fuck. Okay, full back, full back. Okay, he's burning. He's burning. All right, let's set your gun down here. Okay, okay, the medic ubered, and now he uses the fucking uber taunt thing. That's broken. Okay, shit. Okay, okay. There's a bunch of bombs. Okay, we gotta 
get that pyro. Oh, yes. Okay, we're spun up, but we're so out of position. Got to respin down, throw the health to ourselves, going to the dispenser, and then go back. Let's see if we can do some proper defending, because we're really out of position here. I mean, you see, it's so hard to get good hits on the Demoman and the Soldier. So we're just like, fuck that. Let's relocate to a better position. I'm going to go to the high ground where I can hit them, and they can't hit me as easily. Oh, fuck, snipers. Okay, run. Do, 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 do. Keep in mind, you should stay away from snipers when you're a heavy because you move like a rock and rocks are easy to shoot because they don't move fucking ever. So, uh, yeah. There's a cart coming over there and look at this position right here. This is what I mean. This is good. Because we have a dispenser, it has infinite fucking ammo and we can just shoot until our mouse button breaks. And this also, just by spamming this, no spies will be able to get through here without uh, our, uh, us noticing. And we're also behind the sentry gun, so in case the sentry gun is about to go down, we'll do something called sentry shielding, which is being a heavy and being super fat and just standing in front of the sentry gun and take the damage before it. So as you can see, the with the help of a sentry gun, this is actually a pretty good defense because I can relocate and, you know, take the, uh, you know, attention. It's like, hey, look at me, you should kill a heavy, it's easier to kill a sentry gun. And the sentry gun kills, it's like, ah, teamwork! So now we're gonna shoot at the there, doing some kind of spy checking with these bullets. That cost $400,000. To fire this weapon for 12 seconds. Just standing at the dispenser, so... Oh, and then I see the sentry gun shooting at something. I mean, something's over there. And, oh, so an Uber went off. And, oh, no, it's an Uber medic. Holy shit, what's... Okay, fall back. Okay, throw the sandwich. And the uh, beer just spin up again. Is there anything more? Yes, the medic is... Failed, because Uber medics is fucking shit against sentry guns. In case you haven't noticed. So now we have an Uber, we're gonna go around the corner and the spire sniper's just like, well fuck that, I'm not gonna do that. Heavy drop down, didn't see that one. Devil man up top there. Shooting some crits now, but we have crit resistance, which is kinda cool. And the center gun uh, went somewhere, no idea where that went. It went down. When I went down, the center went down as well. <laughs> so uh, we're still defending oh, there's a soldier over there. Okay, shit, fall back. We're still on the high ground, throwing health to ourselves, uh, even though getting good by medic soldier. Run towards with the back. Normally you want to run towards with us uh, with the front so you can actually see where you're going. But that soldier's like, fuck that, I'll kill him with my ass or something like that. I don't know. So uh, now the sentry gun is trying to get it back up again and I figure we should do a counter push just to give the engineers more time. Just keep in mind, uh, while defending like this, the engineers are the backbone of how successful your uh, defense is going to be. Uh, and clearly right now I'm not doing a good job of protecting that sentry gun, but a heavy with the quick fix does indeed go down to me just shooting the fuck out of him because 20% more damage is a lot the longer I fire. So uh, there's a uh, blue people out there. We gotta, you know, relocate, repositioning. Uh, you can see it takes a while to spin up. And, oh, is this a sentry egg? Alright, we got Ubered. Killing the sentry egg, getting the dispenser, and then getting the engineer, looking around. And, oh, there's bombs below us. We're gonna shoot the bombs. We don't fly anywhere. We're gonna kill the... Uh, teleporter, and they get immediately headshot by a sniper that's been aiming at us the fucking entire game while we've been out there. Uh, it's what I mean, because you move so slow, and it's kind of hard not to miss, uh, with the, uh, as a sniper doing that. So, uh, one thing that's really fun with this Brass Beast is getting the lucky crits. You know which what crits I'm talking about when you're like, I hope I get crits, and then you get crits, and then you kill, like, fucking everybody. Is uh, the kind you want to do. I have a Steam group you can join called HiGPS, join that. Website, HiGPS.no, and Twitter, HiGPS, which I don't really use, but I'm gonna, going to, yeah. Da, 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 we're defending. Please give me lucky crits. Yes, lucky crits, yes. Killing, 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 and then getting headshot, because headshots still do damage, and that was horrible positioning. Because we we stood in the angle of the sniper. Which is not that good, if you want to live. So, I mentioned this before, and we're going to look at it now, and that is sentry shielding. That is you using your fat and your arteries as a heavy to defend a sentry gun from being blown to bits. While it's either building or under fire. Because you do, if you're overhealed, you can actually do a, take a lot of hits and help that sentry gun. And things like it, when you have uh, lost a lot of health, you just move back through the sentry gun. Because you can stand inside of it, and then you're healed up, and then you kind of like switch between who's tanking the damage between you and the sentry gun. It's actually super, really good. Especially with the brass beast. So we're gonna throw that to the medic there. Uh, and then we're gonna decide to jump down here. The sentry gun is only level one, and this is what I mean by uh, sentry shielding. Not enough people do this. Because level one sentry gun is actually pretty weak, but level three is pretty strong. So we're just gonna stand in front there and shield. And you see the soldier actually had to jump over there and he tries to hit the sentry gun, but he hits me, but now we got the dispenser, but the sentry gun is still up, so crits come up.
can't get the job because of heavy and a sentry gun does so much damage, especially with the brass beast. But then I go down and then the sentry gun down. Because what's the counter to a fucking sh shielded sentry gun by a heavy? It's a backstab and a sap. That's what it is. Uh, but it's a, it's a thought that counts. So also by uh, utilizing this... Uh, uh, this uh, set is that you can survive a bit more if you use your head correctly because you do play heavy quite differently especially in close areas it's like do I spin up or do I just run and punch the guy in the face uh, it's kind of the choice here you're between uh, doing uh, makes it really hard so we're just gonna shoot that one sticky there and uh, let that demo live and let the team handle it because we're gonna defend the cart so let's see here. Da, 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 no one here. All right, shooting the medic. He runs away. It's good. Do not want that team. All right, let's see. I saw someone up here. Let's see if we can punch a people. Yes, a medic. Punch. Punch. Okay, the medic died. All right, let's punch the sniper. Punch. Yes. Cool. Everybody died. All right, awesome. Didn't even have to spin. There's a sniper over there. Third leaf. Oh shit! There's a head. Oh fuck, soldier. Where did I medic go? Right. Throw the sandwich. The buffalo steak sandwich. Nom nom nom. Delicious shooting some more and then we're gonna run up and still defending though with anyone pushing that cart gonna keep the upper areas clear and uh, we're then gonna run over here and stand on top of the stairs because this is good we're gonna jump down and see what's up uh, soldier on the right that we didn't see and, oh shit the soldier there all right fall back throwing the health again now we're gonna stand here on top of the high ground and be at an advantage shooting people that try to come up not getting to kill on the soldier but he runs away and that is good Still defending a lot of people down there. Uh, bombs and spam coming out. Gotta check the left over there. Saw somebody. They're not there anymore. Oh, shit, Uber! Alright. Um, okay, it's lagging. Okay. Uh, this is something I like to call when you take a chance, and that is take a chance that you are gonna survive this Uber. Alright? So, what do we do? We have to. Take a chance! Alright, shit, Uber! Alright, don't spin anymore. Alright, just run around, being slightly bugged. Alright, we survived this fucking Uber. Alright, alright, we get the soldier. And the medic, maybe. Yes, we got the medic because he decided to attack. Yes, awesome. Surviving the Uber rest. Counter Uber pop. Let's go down there. Let's get him. Or not, not. Let's just stand up here. Yeah, let's stand up here. And then uh, we're gonna fall back and grab some more health. So we just survived an Uber uh, just by running around. Uh, getting hit in the face with rockets, and now we're gonna fall back. And we have an Uber, and this is a different kind of Uber. And, uh, yeah, let's get him! Come on, it's punching time! Uber punching time! Punch! Yeah, that's just one guy down. Come on, one, two punch down! Yes, alright. Come here, demo, come here, demo. Do, 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 do. Fun fact! The uh, sandwich lasts longer than an Uber. And punch, punch! Yes, alright, gotta fall back, gotta fall back. Do not wanna die, do not wanna die. Fuck! But hey! Uh, we got to do the, uh, eat the sandwich and get a few kills with the melee, paponch, with the, uh, warrior spirit, with the bear claws. So, uh, next replay is entitled So Fat and Slow, and that's exactly what you are, you're fat and slow, you're like this huge moving target. You have less, you have the, probably the, yeah, you have the biggest head in the game, which is the easiest to headshot for snipers. And, uh, yeah. So we're gonna, you know, attack with this, and this is really hard on control point maps like this where you're not either just defending or attacking, but when you're like doing both. So we're just gonna, oh, gonna throw the sandwich to the medic there. Uh, gonna fall back, and the medic goes down. Shit, that was a waste of the sandwich. Gotta fall back, and look how slow and fat I am, so fat. Okay, I can't really, you know, you can't really jump. And there's a pyro there, a little, little mistake there. I gotta fall back. I gotta stand here. Uh, not entirely sure where to put myself in this situation because it's so fat and so slow. Okay, there's a medic there, and there's a demo on the other side. Some sticky bombs flying in. Let's see where... Oh, he's gone now. Okay, I guess he went down here. Oh, shit, soldier. All right, I'm so slow. Oh, god damn it. All right, getting the kill on the soldier. going to fall back. I haven't actually been doing a lot. Okay, throwing another sandwich to the medic, and there's a demo in there. And this is a bad position to be in as a heavy, because this, the demo can just use this corner. He can be like, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, and kill you without him, you even being able to hit him that much. And uh, it's also really easy to hit with pipes because you're so slow. Because I've taken a lot of damage. And then I finally go down after like six people have been shooting at me. And uh, then I'm fucking dead. 
So I also fat and slow. But uh, you can be effective on attack with the Brass Beast. It's just that the timing and the teamwork of your team is really fucking important. Because otherwise you'll just die and die and die because you're so fast and so slow and you're like a huge moving target. Everybody can kill you. So easy to hit you directly with rockets and pipes because you don't have that extra speed you usually need when you're spun up. Like there, a soldier can just like, you know, easily abuse his uh, movement and corners to kill you. However, the 5% crit resistance doesn't really help when we have less health. We're gonna see about that. So we have some medics up there. You see the delayed spin time doesn't really allow us to shoot anyone up there. And now we're getting the health pack and now we're gonna attack. So as of right now, the enemy team uh, doesn't really have that much of a defense. So we're back here, you know, just, just chilling. And there comes the our pyro. He just jumps down and burns the engineer and here come we doing the cleanup. Should getting the demo. And then getting the sentry, and then getting the pyro, and then the sensor was like, "Fuck, gotta get on the point." Up, 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 get on the point, get on the point. There's a sniper down there. Get the sniper. Shit, don't shoot me. Yes. All right, cool. We're capping. We're capping. We're capping. Victory! Yeah, that was awesome. That was pretty good. Winning like that with some timing and stuff. Just going in there, doing the cleanup with this gun. So uh, this is uh, something else you can try to do if you're ever in the situation where you kind of just uh, fuck up using the Brass Beast and you're out of ammo. So we're going to be looking at this time. Mission begins in 60 seconds. Mission begins in 60 seconds. Good thing we can fast forward. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Imagine if you could run this fast. That would be fucking awesome. 30 seconds. That went fast. 5 through 1. All right. Attack. Get us a sentry gun up there. Oh, shit. Sticky bombs. Keep your mind. Shoot sticky bombs. It will save your team's asses. So we're gonna shoot a few of those, all right. So this is pretty good, because uh, we can hit the sentry gun, but the sentry gun can't really hit us. And the sentry gun goes down, because this thing right here is really good against sentry guns, because 20% more damage is really good, and a sentry gun is not going anywhere. And uh, also, the thing about people that's being crits, just fucking shoot them and they'll die. And we're just shooting, shooting, shooting. Okay, gotta keep shooting in case anyone runs out. Oh, fuck, we're out of ammo. Guess I'll just use the buffalo steak sandwich and punch everybody. That's a good plan. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, fuck. His center shit. Okay. Um, note to self. Uh, center gun counters fists. Just so you know. Uh, so we're going to try to look at something else called Ninja Heavy. And that's when you try to like be sneaky and get the drop on the enemy without them noticing. But that's kind of hard when you have like the minigun that makes the most noise and it's like yellow and nothing right. else in the game is the yellow except Jurati and this thing. Maybe yellow hats. They don't count! So Ron Dustball still here on the last uh, stage. We got the first point. After my heroic sacrifice, uh, getting the attention of that sentry gun and so carefully dying to the rocket to the face. So, oh, the engineer here. Not sure where to put myself. Taking down the teleporter. And oh, people getting the drop. Yes, all right. Getting the sniper. And oh shit, the heavy went away. Shit, fuck. All right. Is is uh, it was uh, it was a plan. We were gonna get the drop on the enemy, but it was horribly executed. Oh god damn it, that was awful. It's like jumping down and being super slow, and unable to move. But we did kill a sniper. We did kill a sniper. I should actually maybe kill the heavy first. You know, it's the priorities with that. So a teleporter. Yeah, teleporters are good. Like teleports you and stuff. Then we gotta run up and attack. Do, 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 do. Alright, we got defense buff and I got re resistance this is gonna be good. Alright, we're attacking as a team. Attack! 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 Yes, okay. Move forward, move forward. Do, 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 do. Yes, getting crits on the medic, getting him. Nice, okay. Falling back, we have a medic Harris. Hopefully has Uber soon. Throwing him the sandwich, but the other fat so eats it. Alright. Yes, we got Uber! Awesome! Do, 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 do shooting, but I'm so slow I can't really do anything. Alright. Plan, go up to the left, because then we can reposition ourselves and get into a better position. Oh, sentry gun! What's the counter sentry guns? Oh, fist! Yeah, punch! Uh, counter to sentry guns are fists, for those that didn't know. Uh, yeah. So, uh, just to keep this in mind, uh, when you play with the Brass Beast, try to think that you're a sentry gun and be like, where would I put a sentry gun? 
care what I put a sentry on. And then you put it there, and uh, then you do a lot better than if you think you're heavy with the regular uh, minigun, because then you will do awful, because you won't be able to get anything due to the delayed spin-up time and movement speed, because you won't be able to dodge rockets and all that stuff. So this is what I mean. You just start, and you just shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yes, I'm a sentry. Alright, shooting over there. Alright, let's shoot this guy over here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, we slowly move forward, shooting that dispenser. Uh, getting some lucky crits. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Uh, oh, there's people down there. Need some health. Alright, shooting. Keep shooting. Yes! Yes, just shoot the enemy and we'll win. Cool. That was great. Yeah. So, uh, that was the sentry gun. Let's look at another one from the attacking perspective. Uh, so when you're defending, try to stick close to engineers and dispensers and sentry guns, because that will really help. Try not to go solo or sneaky. Uh, it won't go as well. So then we are attacking again! Shooting at a distance, pretending we're a sentry gun that moves as fast as a rock, then it's rolling. We're gonna attack, throwing the stake to the medic, getting a kill on a medic. Let's go in here. Oh my god, a sentry gun! Okay, I took two bombs to the face, alright. The medic is no more. Let's just hold this position right here and wait for the medic. Because if I go in, I'll die, and a dead heavy is a useless heavy. Last time I checked. Get another pick on the pyro there, get some lucky crits and stuff. A sentry inside the house. Not much we can do about that. The medic's like, I'm gonna heal this Razorback sniper. Not you as a heavy, you know, not like you're, you know, healthy. Oh, you're a heavy, alright. So I'm gonna show you a way up, you can jump, um, you know, to get up inside here to get a good flank. You can jump on this thing and jump up, like I'm doing. Up, up, yeah, now we're, look how slow we're moving. You're like, okay, let's move, oh, so slow, so fat, so slow, god damn it. And then we're inside, let's see if we can get some kills. Yeah, okay, there's a medic there, getting a kill on him. Where's the sentry gun? The sentry gun. Alright, uh, gonna get a very slow drop here. Uh, hop, gonna jump on the health pack, and then we're gonna cap the point. Let's see how that goes. Yes, we captured the point. All right, awesome. I guess I'll uh, just eat my, you know, sandwich and run on the point. Yeah, that's a good plan. Nom, nom, nom. All right, we're about ready to go. Oh, fuck pyros! Ah! Uh, that didn't go quite as I'd planned it. Ah, <laughs> uh, didn't go well. Kind of was uh, unexpected and stupid. So we're going to look at the last replay today, we're going to conclude our episode of the Brass Beast. Uh, hopefully you have gotten an idea how to use it and how not to use it. Uh, as it is v probably the most situational weapon the heavy has. Uh, it's not like other weapons, you can use it in pretty much any scenario like the stock weapons. This has pretty much a uh, pretty high limitation of what you can do uh, due to how the set works. So a medic that gives the uber fastest, most premature uber I've ever seen in my entire life. because. The Uber exits as soon as we get there. Like, yes, okay, the Uber's over. We just got here. All right, gonna use it to help the team to clean up. Getting the kill on the soldier. Getting the kill on the medic. Notice I'm so slow, um, I can't really move over there. So I'm just gonna shoot the bombs. The Devil Man comes around to do something. We can't do anything. We cap the point and we win. Because we are awesome. Yeah. So that's gonna sum it up for today. Thanks for watching. I am the GPS. Uh, we have a website called highgps.no. Uh, so you can check that out for all the latest episodes and stuff. You also have a Steam group you can join. But uh, preferably check out the site, because the site will have everything. So yeah, for this Saturday and next episode, we're going to do the medic set, the medieval set, where you have the amputator and the crusader's crossbow uh, replay set. So we're going to look at how that works. Send replays to highgps, highgpsreplays at gmail.com. And hopefully you got an idea of how to use this right here. Thanks, and have fun. I love my hats.